I'm out here today at Rockingham Speedway at the Little Rock track. So here at Rockingham, there's two different tracks. And uh, this is the Little Rock track here. We've got our own kind of like Irwindale layout. Yeah, I got like our own little Irwindale layout here. Super cool, super fun track. Uh, the banking is beautiful and like, it's like about seven degrees of banking. It's awesome. It's uh, it's super cool because you can hit like 70, 80 miles an hour on it. So in pictures, 100, 100 you, think, you think you can hit 100? Yeah. Yeah, you can hit 100 your car. I don't know if I can hit 100 my car. I mean, follow me. <laughs> I don't know how fast I was going when I was driving Devin Bruce's car because he's like, put it in fourth gear. I'm like, okay, so, you know, 500 horsepower Z4, put it in fourth gear and like, oh, wow, this is... <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot. So we'll uh, we'll give her a go today and see... Uh, yeah, this is just super fun. I want to get some trains in, so hopefully we'll get like four, five, six plus car trains in because this track is like perfect for it. All right, all right, all right. This is my first time using my camera like this. I'm kind of excited. It looks like it's a good view. I'm all strapped in. Let the car warm up a little bit. Water temp looks good. Oil pressures look good. All right, let's warm up some tires, then we'll go do some laps. All right. Man, I love this track. This is such a fun, cool track. It's so different. So it's super, super fast, right? So I'm like banging limiter in third gear, hucking it in and uh maybe not banging limiter right but it's it's a fun fast track it's not very often i get to drive tracks like this and or at least in the past but i've had we've had such great access to this amazing facility here with this track i mean they give us pretty much free reign of this place um because you know rockingham speedway has been uh it's been vacant for a while so and the owners love drifting so it's been super super cool man look at that flake This is so fun. Such tire smoke. <laughs> this line just right it feels so good so maybe we'll try and talk through it this time uh because i'm just driving and just having a blast but i'll try and talk to it to talk through this uh this layout a little bit 
it is so fast and then you scrub a bunch of speed to the very very end it's wild seven degrees of banking on these sweepers so it's like i feel like it's just the perfect amount for a lot of grassroots cars yeah okay we're gonna do some tandems here with jason dixon two yep two over some cones sorry guys it's a ride-along day today lots of passengers to go for rides it's a beautiful day so it's a good day for it there we go <laughs> no, the, the rear clip by the tower, I forgot we moved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. car tandem.
<laughs> I was like, what is that on my elbow? <laughs> it came from the back. I definitely got to build me one now. <laughs> Uh, LS swapping would that be the cheapest way for a beginner really you don't need a whole lot of uh, a lot of power to be honest so, I got a I, I got a Nissan D21 hard body okay it's got the K motor in it dual cam or single cam single I put a dual cam K in it those are pretty easy to swap I think uh, just change out the head uh, I don't know if you gotta change out the head or if it's got different pistons and stuff too gotcha. um you can usually pick them up for pretty cheap. At least you used to be able to. Yeah. So I, I, I wouldn't care if I hurt it too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And even the single cam is enough to come out and just have a good time yeah, and, you know, try time. it out before you go after the whole thing of doing an engine swap and all that. Because at a certain point, you're doing so much work just to get out there when you haven't even tried getting out there yet. Yeah. So. That's all, that's all I want to do is get something cheap, easy to have fun with. Yeah. Get the feel for it. Not like homeboy with the, I, I would have cried if I would have did that to my 350. I mean, those cars are like $4,000. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, and that's it. I'm headed home. It was a good day. I had to call a little bit early today, but uh, yeah, Little Rock, a ton of fun. If you saw my sweet beams T-shirt that I was wearing in this video, uh, you should go ahead and buy yourself one. It helps support content, support the channel, um, all that good stuff. So you just go over to the link that is in the video description for my Dr. Garage Teespring. I've got the Beams 86 t-shirt. I've got the Trace shirt. That's the one I was wearing in the video. I've got a couple other ones like the A86 and S12. Um, for some reason, these are listed twice in my Teespring right now. Just know they're the exact same shirt. And then I've also got a couple RB26 shirts. So you can see those here. I've got them in white and black. Um, so uh, yeah, I'd appreciate it if you buy a t-shirt. Sorry to film an outro, but I'm gonna film another one because uh, I'm almost home. I just drove two and a half hours in my six liter diesel truck, almost home, literally like 10 minutes from home. And I just spent two and a half hours towing. Just dropped the trailer off in storage and uh, I'm going, what's that smell? Why does it smell like gas? This is a diesel truck. Um, but I had two gas cans in the back. And one of them fell over, I don't even know how, and broke the nozzle off and dumped like four gallons of gas. And uh, yeah, almost burned my truck to the ground. I don't like, okay, I have to get my flashlight out. I don't even know how, how this is possible. So of course my bed is kind of damaged. So, you know, there's holes, so it's leaking gas down and the gas leaked straight on the exhaust here. All right, straight on the exhaust. And like immediately after I pulled over and shut the truck off, I could touch the exhaust without burning my hand. I just spent two and a half hours towing. This exhaust should be super, super hot. I, I'm just super lucky because my truck really should have just, literally should have just burned to the ground right now. Um, so yeah, that's where we're gonna end this video. <laughs>